Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Ro Love Jones. And I'm back again with another exclusive. <laughs> Y'all know I have the sage burning for, you know, the positive vibes and we're getting rid of any entities and any energies that is not serving us while we are going to continue on with this video. I'm gonna blow some to you at home. Before we get started, I'm gonna need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Support a black owned business. <laughs> So today, 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 we're going to be talking about dating a Virgo woman, woman, I can be your woman. <laughs> so of course, when you think of Virgo, you think of Beyonce, you think of J-Hud, you think of Zendaya, you think of Pink, you think of, um, there's so many Virgo women, I can't, Blake, Blake Lively. The little blonde haired actress, she's a Virgo. Virgos are, <sighs> Virgos are just everything. Let me tell you, first of all, <laughs> I'm a Virgo. <laughs> Michael Jackson was a Virgo, but this ain't about the men's, this is about the women's. So, first point, Virgo women are usually very creative. They're very, very creative. They're more right brain oriented people. Uh, we're also extremely smart. So we I actually operate from both sides of our brain because Virgo women are smart as a whip. We are business owners, we're homeowners, we're mothers, we're caretakers, we're super nurturing. By nature, we're worker bees, we're helpers, but we're also powerhouses. So the average Virgo woman wears many hats and you know how they say jack of all trades and a master at none? No, literally, she more than likely master every, she masters every hat that she wears. Like, she is the woman that can do it all. She is the renaissance woman. Once again, we represent Beyonce because that's what I heard her new album was going to be called. And y'all know we is all ready to get our wigs snatched. <laughs> Beyonce, she's a mom, she's a businesswoman, she manages herself, she took over the reins from her father, she was like, all right, Matthew, I got this now, but of course she got some help from her husband, because one thing we is gonna do is we gonna employ the people around us and make sure that we make everybody feel included in our success, because we tend to be the more successful out of our friend groups. Let me rewind that. We are more successful in our area of expertise because we believe in mastermind groups. Like Virgo women are very strategic. We understand that usury is not a bad word. Joelle Santana said this on Drink Champs, like everyone's going to get used, but don't get misused. So we understand that everyone's gonna get used and we make sure that we are valuable assets as well. That's what I mean. So we do excel in whatever area it is that we enter in, in our friend group. We do like to have friends that are super smart and successful as well because we don't hate. We ain't haters. Like Virgo women do not hate. We are always celebrating people. Evolve Virgos. Let me let me make sure I point that out because you know if you're unevolved and you're bitter, you're bitter, you're angry, you complain a lot. These are the downsides of a Virgo woman. She ain't never happy. She pessimistic. But through all of that, she still prevails because it's her destiny to be great and successful at something. So if she's not operating in her higher vibrational field, she's more than likely self-sabotaging because she knows her potential and she knows her greatness. So in, in a relationship with a Virgo, if you are dealing with an evolved Virgo, oh my God, you're about to be in for a ride. If you are dealing with a Virgo that is kind of teeter-tottering, which most of us do, like nobody's operating high all the time, but when you have someone that's like well balanced, she's probably wild as fuck on the low. <laughs> she may like um, be a little crazy. We all got our little, I feel like everybody is crazy to some degree. We all got our little quirks. But she's smart as a whip. She's intelligent. She is going to fill you up with herbs, vitamins love knowledge she gonna teach you something that you ain't never didn't know she's gonna you know pique your interest in certain areas that you didn't even know you were interested in she is a dreamer she is the woman that is very grounded in the earth but she's also aerial in a sense like you know earth we all need earth like we're all walking on this earthly plane together and the virgo woman represents and embodies that so a virgo is a woman that you, when you meet her, you are gonna wanna have her in your life forever. Even if you guys are just gonna maintain a friendship, um, if cause things don't work out all the time, but she's someone that you are gonna wanna have in your life forever because you are going to recognize that she's an asset. She's 
more than likely helping you to elevate in some way. Whether it, like I said early on, may it be just speaking life into you, may it be, you know, giving you resources, may it be just inspiring you to think about things in a different way. Like we are always critiquing ourselves. Virgo women will critique the fuck out herself. It's very sad. It's very, very sad. Sorry. She will critique herself to no end, but she is solutions based. So she is not the woman that is just going to be complaining and nagging all day without trying to look for solutions. Yes, we have these problems, but what do we do? How do we rectify? How do we reel it in? Like, what do we do to... I'm sorry, guys. Somebody keeps calling me. What do we do to um, make sure that we get back on track and that we continue to do what it is that we actually need to do? You know, like... We, we could also be very secretive. We could be very crabby, like, you know, in a shell or recluse, much like a Taurus and a Cancer woman. We like our alone time. We are introvert extroverts. Like, a lot of people don't believe that because when you see a Virgo, like, they're usually the life of the party, believe it or not. And for me, personally speaking, it took me a long time to get there. Like, when I was little, I used to, like, hide behind my mother's legs. I was super shy. And then one day, I just was like, wow. Like, I just bust out. I don't know what happened. And I have really bad social anxiety. So when I'm in social settings, sometimes I got to, like, you know, like, rev myself up and hype myself to be able to socialize. But when I'm in more intimate settings with people, I thrive. Like, I love talking to people. Virgo women love talking to people. They love getting to know people. They just love life. And one of the best ways that Virgos learn is through interact, interacting and observing people. So they, they have a close knit group of friends, but they have many associates. Like that is one thing that I can say, like Virgo women do not fuck with people like that, but they do have a lot of people that fuck with them like that. <laughs> you gotta know the difference. Like it takes a long time for them to open up. They are growers and not showers. So at first when you are courting her or when y'all starting to deal with each other, you may think she doesn't even like you like that. You may be like, oh, this chick that got 50, 1100 mans. But no, chances are like she probably is in love with you, but she won't ever tell you that because she got to fill you out first. And she got to see if this is a situation that she would even want to like, you know, lay herself out there like that. So if she is spending time with you, if she is calling you, if she is allowing you to call her, if she is letting you FaceTime her, boy, bye. That is more than just, oh, I just think you're kind of cute. No, she, she likes you. Because <laughs> Virgo women don't do that otherwise. you They do not. They don't answer the phone. They always busy. And in real life, they really do be busy. So if they make time for you and they prioritize you in any type of way, you best believe. Sis like you, you absolutely got a chance. She does like a man that is a, a little more laid back. She's not into like the super flashy, gaudy, like think Jay-Z. Like he's a super, super duper star, but he still has a subtleness and a calmness and a quietness to him. Like you, you feel his presence more than you hear his presence. Like Virgo women are more attracted to men that like play their part and know their position and they bust up, but they not so like, oh, I gotta be. But if you, if it's your time to shine, shine. Like they are the ones that will share the spotlight with their spouse, you know, but you gotta let a Virgo woman shine. Don't try to hold her back. Don't try to like tame her and make her be something that she's not because then she's, ultimately she's going to resent you. So let her flourish. You know, she's very feminine. She loves to be like a homemaker, but Virgo women tend to be either domesticated or not. So some Virgo women don't like to clean. They don't like it, but that's why a lot of them are like wealthy and they have like cleaners and people that just come to their house and take care of that stuff so they could, you know, focus on what they need to focus on. However, on the flip side, uh, you know, one that's living more in the real world, she absolutely knows how to take care of her home. She's very clean. Like, she doesn't like, uh, maybe a little bit of mess, but like dirt, like, oh, absolutely not. Like, she's not here for it. Like, appearance is important. You know, she likes to control her own narrative. So just be sure that you are not messy boots in the streets because then that's going to be an off-putting and she ain't going to like that. But she might be a little messy sometimes, but she got to be forgiven because nobody's perfect. She going to forgive you. You got like maybe... Maybe I would say five good times to rub her the wrong way before she say next. Anyways, get you a Virgo woman. They did a poll on Facebook and it was like, oh, if God was a Zodiac sign, who would it be? And everybody said a Virgo woman. And I'm not even trying to toot, toot, toot that horn because I'm a Virgo, but toot, toot. <laughs> so quiet, 
beautiful quirky like very you know into learning about things and broadening horizons she loves to talk virgos could talk a mile a minute hence me like look at what i'm doing y'all i'm on here talking to you guys like they love to talk so you got to be a good conversation but you also got to be a good listener they also love to listen they pay attention to details so do not lie if you're lying she's going to know that you're lying because she's chances are she's gonna remember what you said like she's gonna be like no but this is not what you said that time so don't be a liar like smell good look good have nice teeth take care of your hygiene um get to the bag and be able to teach her something everything is not all about money of course money is important but she also wants to be able to learn things from you because she's an explorer she's always like she's inquisitive as a child like she grows up to just wants to take in everything that she can in this lifetime so get you a virgo they the best they they like to you know have their own alone time at times so don't take it personal if she kind of like you know distance herself a little bit it ain't got nothing to do with you our misery don't love company we're growers not showers so you might not know right off the rip that she's in love with you but if she is showing you that she is she don't gotta say it because you will know it and you will be able to feel it and a virgo's love is whew, to the moon and back and she will love you forever even if things don't work out I don't know, y'all might could still be friends, but it depends on how it ended. But you gonna always want her in your life. You're gonna be soaking her page, you're gonna be looking for cause she is that one that you just don't come across often. Spread love is the Brooklyn way. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> love y'all, get your Virgo.